astronomy GCSE topic 16 Hubble's law there's a picture of Edwin Hubble there and a very famous photograph he took of Andromeda Edwin Hubble was an American astronomer now uh, amongst other things the first important thing he discovered now with powerful telescopes uh, we can see spiral structures in the sky and there was a big debate are they nebulae are they spirally clouds of gas in the Milky Way or are they other galaxies and in 1923 Edwin Hubble used Cepheid variables in Andromeda to measure how far away Andromeda was and what he found out is that Andromeda is very 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 far away much further away than people thought it was uh, and he realized that it wasn't in the Milky Way it was another galaxy completely and he got the same very similar results with other galaxies as well so the universe is not just one galaxy lots and lots of galaxies there was another big mystery at the time uh, and that is why apart from the galaxies in our local group why all of these galaxies are moving away from us so there are lots and lots of galaxies and nearly all of them are moving away from us and we can calculate how fast they are moving away from us using this equation here which I've talked about in another video it's called the radial velocity or the recession velocity so lots of galaxies moving away from us and Hubble uh, studied the relationship between how far away galaxies were and how fast they were moving away from us and he found a pattern what Hubble found was that the further away the galaxies were the faster they were moving okay and so we get to Hubble's law if you do a graph of the radial velocity or the recession velocity against distance you get a straight line the radial velocity we get that from redshift the distance he got that from standard candles like Cepheid variables and he got a straight line and so Hubble's law is that the recession velocity is proportional to the distance or V equals H naught times D where H naught is a constant and it's called the Hubble constant so the further away galaxies are the faster they're moving away from us the two things are proportional to each other and that tells us some, something very important about the universe the universe is expanding the universe is getting bigger and when I say that all galaxies are moving away from us they're actually all moving away from each other as the universe expands all of these galaxies are moving away from each other you can think of it as like a you put a cake in the oven which has got raisins in it and as the cake gets bigger and bigger the raisins get further and further apart and this is basically what the universe is doing so if the universe is expanding if we go back in time that must mean that the universe was smaller and the further back in time we go the smaller it was and perhaps it all started with a big bang maybe the universe was all in one place and there was some kind of an explosion and it has been expanding ever since big bang now from this graph and from the value of the Hubble constant we can work out something very interesting now if you can follow the maths if you're good at maths then that's great what you should remember is that the age of the universe is 1 over the Hubble constant so 1 divided by the Hubble constant tells us the age of the universe and from this we know that the universe is about 13.8 billion years old that is the age of the universe how big is the universe well the observable universe in terms of what we can see at the moment uh, is about 28 billion light years across 
you know it's about 13.8 billion light years either way however because the universe is expanding it has been expanding and it is continuing to expand it's actually bigger than that and there's one or two other relativistic reasons as well but the size of the universe it's believed to be about 93 billion light years across okay if you imagine what we can see now the edge of the universe uh, is 13.8 billion light years away but of course it took that much time for it to reach us and the universe has been expanding in that time there is another model there's the big bang model which says that the universe used to be much much smaller now it all started from nothing and it's expanding rapidly and all these galaxies are moving further apart uh, there is another model called the steady state model now in the steady state model the universe is also expanding but it has always been expanding and it will do so forever okay uh, and what happens is that as it expands galaxies are created uh, and basically the space fills up with new galaxies as the universe expands and so that the density of the universe stays the same that is the steady state model if you look at these diagrams here i think that probably explains explains it best however there is more evidence for the big bang model apart from hubble's graph there is more evidence which we shall look at in the next video